fellowship that permeates this gathering. Thank you for the nourishment we are about to receive. And thank you for the hands, hearts, and minds that have made this day possible. May our hearts always be grateful. And may our lives always be filled with purpose. Amen. Okay, so um, we're going to let Dr. Scott lead the way first to the, uh, uh, to the food. Thank you, for that. Thank you, Dan. So, um, uh, we have been uh, using the opportunity of the 175th to have these celebrations all over the world. Um, and so, as, as, as Greg said, what I want to do is to also connect you to one another, but also back to the school. So I just uh, left the senior class. Uh, very few in that class believes they're ever going to get into college. It's the first six weeks of school. They have already had variety show tryouts. They have no clue what the variety show is about, but they know they're all the It will be the second best variety show ever, next to yours and mine. My favorite carnival memory has to be probably variety show. I was one of the actors for the opening act for that show and it was just so exciting um, from the very first show to the very last. Um, my favorite carnival memory was working as a sign painting chair my junior year. A lot of memories from carnival. Um, my, my booth was the taco salad uh, booth and I remember eating taco salad until we got sick but of course you know had to have a couple of terry cheeseburgers and malasadas along the way. Definitely that 70s carnival, that was our year. It was a great year because one of our close friends was the co-chair. So we definitely got it a lot more involved than usual. Um, at the end of carnival, we all went up to Rocky Hill afterwards to just look out at the scenery and it was just beautiful. And I still remember that. I still remember it to this day. Taking my nephew there once I had I'd grown up. It was great to be able to pass on the tradition and, and take him to see all the kind of things that I used to do there. I'd like to thank all of, the, all of the California alumni that are here. Thank you for coming out. Special thanks to the class of 53. You guys are phenomenal. Woo! Woo! President John Fox in 1968 in Beverly Hills when he was retiring from being president at Punahou. And we got together. I think I was the only guy there and there were a few women. And I asked him about starting a chapter. He said, go for it, John, you're the guy. So I did. He gave me encouragement, and I got this group together, three of them that were there with me, and others, including many today, that are here that I'll mention, or I could do it right now if you'd like. Well, there's Les Samoy, Alan Burns, Al Lemus, John Musselman, all in my class, 53. And then there was uh, Sally Cheek Hinckley, 54, and Judy Landau Gertner. I've been very supportive of whoever the president is. And the president after John, after he decided to move to Oregon, of all places, uh, Les Samoy took over for, I, didn't, I think, 14 years. Yep. And then who was he, next after John? Bob, uh, Les? Bob Dunn. He, he, did, he got tired of it. It's, it's an exhausting job, as you can probably see. Uh, as the host of the party here today, because this is your, your Am I? you're the host, um, tell us about having 200 to 300 people at your home. Happens every weekend. I love it.